Hey everyone, Sam here. And in this video, I want to show you how I create my illustrations inside of Figma, get them inside of After Effects, animate them, and export them to Lottie. Let's get started. Okay, so in Figma, you're going to want to download the AEUX plugin. I'm not gonna show you how to install it in this video because the instructions are pretty simple. When you download the plugin, it's got a readme file and you just gotta follow those steps. And I think when I install this, it only works on Figma desktop because it's a developer, um, develop, uh, it's a plugin in development. And that's only available, I believe, on the desktop version of Figma. So once you have that, you should have AEUX here. And once you finish up your illustration, you can go ahead and select all your layers, right click, plugins, development, and AEUX. And this is going to open it up and you can then just click send selection to AE. This is, if you have After Effects open, going to create a new comp um, with all of this stuff in it. So let's do that. And there we go, we've got our Pokeball. So, what I'm going to do is I want um, the Pokeball just to be to be white. Um, so I'm going to create a ellipse. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't always import your layers correctly. You will need to adjust them a bit inside of After Effects, which can be a bit of a pain, but it shouldn't be too bad. And okay, why? So I put that on the bottom. And okay, so I need to delete the rectangle. There we go. And put that transparent. Okay. And see, so like you can see here, um, the layers aren't exactly as I'd like them. So I'm going to stretch out the path here. It's going to go into the path, hold shift, bring that out a bit. And for some reason, the F one's fine. And then on the top, I need to sort that out. So in the contents, we've got merge paths, which which aren't great to have. Um, and we've got a ellipse path. So, okay, so on these bits, I'm just gonna grab the points, bring those up holding shift. And that's looking fine. Let's just have a quick look um, as a lot of animation going to log in so this is frame 4 okay and as you can see it's really messed up so let's try and sort that out what we're going to do is let's go okay so we've got yellow top Let's delete the merge paths because that's not great to have with lots of animations. Um, okay, what's this path? Okay, so that path is actually what we want and this ellipse path can go away. And then we can then just grab the path, bring that down to here. I'm gonna create another point, add a vertex. Into the middle here, bring that up, make another one, bring that up, and just one here. Okay, that's fine. How does that look now? Okay, and let me just put the background. Okay, that's looking fine. And I'm going to create a null object. Uh, let's just animate the rotation quickly. Parent it. Um, let's just 
just do 0 to 45. See how that looks quickly. Okay, and that's working fine. So that's one way you can, you know, get your Figma illustrations into After Effects um, and tweak them a bit. Uh, what I'm going to show now is completely optional, but is one way to optimize your Lottie animations. So let's start checking that out. So once AEUX has imported the layers from Figma, you might need to mess around with them a bit. I had to create a mask layer to sort of get uh, just the pokeball white and get this yellow bit here working properly. Uh, but now that's done, what we need to do to optimize our file, we, and you can't leave it just like this, but um, it might lead to larger file sizes when you export it to Lottie. And so what we're basically gonna do is create a new shape layer. And this is gonna be called Pokeball. And basically we're gonna have one shape layer to parent all of the paths from all of the other layers. I might just leave the mask as is, um, depending on how it goes. But basically what we're going to do is grab, for example, this right line, go under it, go into its contents, grab the path, copy, and paste it into the parent layer. And so now we've got the right line here and we're just going to move it okay so you've got to grab the line and let's just position it here and so of course this is a bit more tedious than just leaving as is um, but this will help you have a more optimized file and a smaller file size so I'm going to carry on with the rest of them and I'm going to see how it goes Okay, so looking at how the mask was set up and um, the feel for the Pokeball, I'm going to leave just some extra shape layers, but the rest I'm getting rid of, the ones that I've hidden. So, so there we go, and get rid of these ones. Here we go. Okay, and we've got the same result. We've just, yeah, left these, these ones as is mask and the background um, and otherwise we've got everything else in our pokeball layer so that's pretty cool and i just need to parent it to the null layer and we've got the same result once it renders out there we go okay and if i just quickly render it to Lottie and Pokeball op render that to the desktop so we can compare size Pokeball op render that dun, dun, dun. there we go if I compare the sizes because this is really a pretty small animation I've only saved one kilobyte but if you do have a really large animation, it can save quite a lot. And it can also help with the uh, performance of your website and Google Lighthouse performance. Um, so definitely, if you have the time, just try try that out. And um, if we have a look on Lottie files, we get exactly the same result as the unoptimized file. So yeah. So we get the same result. This is the unoptimized and this is the optimized so as you can see it's exactly the same result um, but that's one way to get smaller file sizes and maybe in the future I'll do a more complete version of this um, but I just found that that was better uh, just to get in with this Figma video I will leave the links to the AEUX plugin in the description below cheers I hope this video helped you out and if it did 
be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.